shouts to them. Quite so, a fight too, the reset and everything. Yeah, the yeah. reset and all went to game five. It went the distance, but today we got Envander on the Yoshi and as Taveth on the Sheik. Okay, but we could see the Bayo as well. Now Sheik Yoshi, this is very interesting. I mean, Sheik has all the neutral tools to beat Yoshi out, but it really comes down to can you take that stock, right? <laughs> take that F smash on the beginning <laughs> on the side of Yoshi for sure. I think this matchup is very awkward. In terms of, this is one of those matchups, you know you talk about Sheik where you're like, yeah, you know, she's a character that does a lot of damage but can't find those kills. Right. But against Yoshi specifically, it's actually quite easy to keep Yoshi constantly in disadvantage like we're seeing such a great display here. But at the same time, Yoshi explosively is improving in the meta. So you've been seeing tons of Yoshis really grinding that and utilizing that disadvantage to become an advantage. Yeah, and the main thing you got to watch out for is that double jump. But the needles to bouncing fish, it doesn't matter which game it is. Those love to connect the charge and the up smash. Going to not hit the mark here. Dash grab as well. Great punish from Aztebeth. I love the way that Invader's just moving. This movement and just the constant change of when to use needles, when to get in, when to get out, respecting the armor on the jump that Yoshi does have. Really great performance and just showcasing how this matchup is supposed to be played. Yeah, and I mean, you just want to be quick and nimble, right? Like, y Yoshi does have some great neutral tools, but in terms of which character has the neutral, I mean, for the most part, across almost any game, it's going to be Sheik. Oh, yeah, and it helps to have that big nose, but boy, that, you can't take that butt, okay? <laughs> going to knock you out into that blast zone, and you're going to lose that for stock. Now bringing it back. Again, 66%, 13, not bad. And, you know, Invader's quite the heavy character on the side of Yoshi, so uh, it's not going to be that much bad. A little bit of jab setups here, tech chasing. Could bring it back, but, oh my God, you got to put on that defense. I mean, if I see any more forward smashes, you're going to tend to lose an smash, but, whew, hanging on to see another life of day. Oh, there's the jab, maybe thinking the, okay, another jab going into the fourth. So using the jab one and abusing the fact that Yoshi is that floaty, but trading back and forth here, that is what you're going to want to see if you're in Vander, because Yoshi just has the weight to back it up here. Now 80% here on the Sheik. Oh my goodness, a straight down B, almost getting the whole stock there. That was actually so quick, right, Charles? The yep. way that the percent was racking up, we were talking about in the beginning, how Yoshi could come back. Something I'm not seeing Invader use to his advantage is the Nair out of shield. I think that we're taking now an advantage on the side of Astabeth is like, okay, you're not actually utilizing Yoshi's defensive options, so I'm going to just kind of be in your face. But it's now starting to get looking, looking like it's coming back to him because he's got the setups. He's just got to now respond to the way that Astabeth is committing on him. Yeah, and then Asa getting the tech on that back air drag down, that was so huge. I mean, there's so many setups Yoshi can go for there. Back to the stage, rolling back, going for that down smash. Vader not going to be able to connect, and, and both these players at very high percent, but this is where Yoshi can do well, but all oh, the directional air dodge, maybe wanting a neutral air dodge there, but going to be an unfortunate SD, but it's one of those SDs where it's high percent, not the worst case. Yeah, right? you could totally come back, and even sometimes you want to have that reset, and maybe some combos and bumps just won't yeah. connect anymore because of how much rage you might have. I know that's the case for Sheik, and you saw Asafeth couldn't get those bouncing fish set up, so... Might be a good thing on the side here of Invader. Bring it to a 1-1. What looked to be impossible at the beginning of the game. Now back to it. Looking fresh and just racking up the damage. But hey, that's only been inviting Invader to really bring it back and put on the fight. And Invader definitely loves those smash attacks. That anti-air on the up smash. Going to deal quite a bit of damage here. High risk, high reward playstyle. Going to get away from the forward tilt. Trading again with the Sheik Fair. All these... Moves from Sheik, you know, really great in neutral and just is going to have so much commanding lead. But if you trade, that's when it's not really worth. Ooh, and oh you're right. Man. I mean, hey, that was a great time to finally do the 50-50. Worth it to go above and beyond. It does get the check chase, but try to get an air dodge. That would have been a huge advantage point for the side of Invader. But the back air does find its space, and you almost have oh. a fair on the top recovering back to the stage. Who's going to get the final hit? It's coming down to the wire as these guys are even learning each other at the end of this game. Great bait and a wait on the side of Estevez and onto the bouncing fish. Oh, Invader able to get back on the stage with the directional air dodge. 
such a high percent some of these combos and stuff that she have not gonna really do it so now she's gonna be forced to play that stray hit game not something that she is very strong at here 182 percent the air dodge has the double jump no resources here oh Woo! and the drag down into the down smash and asta saying i still got some setups up my sleeve the drag down up here still gonna create a tech chase scenario at the very least and it's very important that he actually didn't showcase his hands so early right? right that's the first time we saw the drag down connect he was going for up smashes just hit on the side, mm -hmm. but he wasn't doing the down smash. I definitely feel like he kept it at that point, making sure that Invader wasn't going to tech and he was just going to kind of get hit at that end at right. that percent. You got that big nose, you know, it's going to get hard to get uh, get out of that situation. But what a great comeback. I love that the fight was still on, even when you're so sworn by such a great movement chic. Mm -hmm. You're able to stay calm, collected, and start calculating data. When is my opponent going to jump? When is my opponent going to do this? And he was understanding and really bringing it back. He only needed maybe a few hits to get that stock. So it's nice to see the game, too. Yeah, it was crazy. Invader was almost getting up to that 200%. And that's very common for Sheik. You know, sometimes Sheik, the neutral is really strong. But sometimes you really, really got to work for those stocks, especially yeah. when those setups are offline and you can't really line up some of these you know, things in the bouncing fish, obviously the needles in the bouncing fish, Yoshi was falling out towards that 170, 160 mark, right? And that was pretty much Asta's main go-to for getting these stocks. Yes, so. for sure. It's uh, it's rough. That's the life of a sheik, right? Yep. <laughs> You're going to yep. get so much, and then sometimes you might blow up. But he remained so patient at the end, and that's what got it. He even started to notice when Invader was going for, like, down specials, right? And even certain committal options like smashes. And he started saying, okay, this might be unorthodox options coming out, but I'm going to learn when you're doing it so I can call it out, and that's why Esteveth was able to conceal that game even though he was, it was a close call, but that's the reason he did it, because he simply just played better. Yeah, yeah, and you just got to play so evasive, and yeah, Invader definitely swinging for the hills in a lot of those moments, but there was so much of those moments that if it connected, if it hit, that runoff forward air was so close towards the left side, right? That would have been a crazy game ender. And it's just all this information for both players. You're collecting the data so you can make those big reads if you're Invader, right? Oh, yeah. And I, and I want to see more Nairs this game. I feel like even there, the way that she, Yeah, it, it kind of does your taxes, and it is yeah. tax season. So I don't know if really people want to remember what sh Yoshi could do for you <laughs> in those moments of need. But it, it, I want to see more of it, for sure. I feel like we're always seeing air dodges and jumps. And when you have that get out of me option right in front of you, especially a character like Sheik, who is constantly pressing buttons on you, that's your get out of tool. Oh, yeah, and I mean, there's so many characters with really good nares. There's the super armor. Okay, egg roll, unpunishable. Hey, yo, it we got that. It's never punishable. It really yeah, isn't, it, bro. It, you can't punish it. It's like Samus Uppy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to go? But that bouncing fish going to make sure you land out of the blast zone, take the first stock. SFF running away the, the way that he did in that first game, looking very familiar here in game two. Yeah, SFF is awesome really knowing how to set up those needles to bounce the fish, right? Whether it be off stage, whether it even be on stage, it looked like kind of towards center stage there, and Astaveth was still able to set that up. There's the Nair trades that we're seeing coming out from Invader, and that's, I mean, such a pesky thing, right? Yoshi being that floatier character, and there's there the armor is! through the needles there, and then even timing the Nair, you do have to time that really well, because once you hit a button, the armor's gone. You don't ever get both with Yoshi. Nope, exactly. It's one or the other, and the fact that you got both in that situation was something, but that's really what we want to see, right? Like we're seeing these fairs, we're seeing these front smashes that are becoming desperate attempts from Innovator to really bring this back. He has the setups, he even gets the soft hits, but he's just holding in a little bit and he's trying to, he's focusing too much on the fact that he's getting attacked and he's not understanding that, okay, I gotta play defensive, what right. constantly beats these get out of the options. Ooh, there's the down B, the go to, gonna get the hit, but not the stock. There's the up air. Is the chase down gonna happen? Pretty hard to get the chase down on the Sheik, right? So. You already know, there's the forward air. Oh, the high recovery and the forward smash hey! to catch that high recovery. Okay, Invader. Invader, we see you. You're cooking. And, and, and we know we slept a little bit on that beginning game where it started really rough and he actually brought it back. It looks like all of a sudden he's like, I will play the game. Just give me five seconds. I want to have some fun. I'm at an expo, okay, man? I'm going to play games because I love to play the games. Not because of the competition. But all of a sudden he said, you know what? No, I'm pretty competitive. Give me, give me a second. <laughs> they throw out these down airs, these nares. Yeah. A great option. That downer does like over 30 damage oh. if you're able to connect every hit there. Not to mention that fair, right? Steel stock so oh, yeah. early if you're caught sleeping on that nose. 
But hey, you're gonna get a bleeding one if you don't watch those bouncing fishes. Those setups are constantly putting pressure on our friend here, even waiting perfect spacing to try and get the landing up air into the up smash. Even the tech chase, not gonna get it. But yo, again, Invader fighting and is not giving up. Oh, trying to go up and over, but Invader faking the drift in and faking it back out here. Throwing some eggs, tries to go for the up smash. No punish though. There's a direction of air dodge just weaving back and forth. Asta trying to get this lock. Gets the jab lock. Doesn't go for the smash attack. Goes for the down tilt though. He wants to be pretty, but you know what? Just because of that, you might die. No, recovery back. You know, don't, don't, don't. It ain't over. Of course, up smash has been the constant and consistent play on the side of Invader. So you already know Asta that is going to be ready to kick you in the face for that and knock you out into the loser's bracket. Yeah, Asta playing really clean on the Sheik here. Has the confirms on deck. We saw the needles to the bouncing fish. Didn't get any up smashes. There was some attempts on the platform, but just not hitting some of those reads. Some of those stocks getting a little bit high on the percentage, but that's going to be pretty normal with the Yoshi, obviously. So we'll see if Asta can continue on the winner's bracket here with the Sheik. Very hard character to play, more on that execution level, right? So always going to hit all these different skill checks, but... When the Sheik is hitting and when you get those confirms, very, very satisfying character, Ooh, right? Oh, for sure. Yeah, 